Hi, I'm Max. I'm Sam. And I'm Matt, and this is a video about skinning up the Tuckerman Ravine Trail on Mount Washington and skiing down the Sherby Trail. What's the, how do you, where do you start and where do you, where do you switch up? Where do you change your gear? What's the route? Mm, well, it starts at the Pinkham Notch Visitor Center, then you hike up like three miles? Like I think it's 2.4. Right, 2.4 miles and then you arrive at Hermit Lake and then ski down. So how much elevation do you gain when you're hiking from the parking lot to Hermit Lake? About 2,000 feet. Right? Yeah. yeah, so it's like two and a half, two point four 2.4 miles and about 2,000 feet. Um, so you go, good. Yeah, parking yeah. lot, Tuckerman Ravine Trail, stop at Hermit Lake, change your gear into downhill mode and then ski down the John Sherburn Ski Trail, otherwise known as the Sherby. Oh. All right, let's talk about gear. What did we need for gear for this trip? We found these contour adapters that um, are that you clip into your normal bindings that and it allows your t heel to come up and your um, toe to stay down. And Do we have one? when you get to the top, then you take it off. Then you take it off and just clip into your normal bindings and ski down just like you would at a ski resort. So so this acts like the front of your ski boot. That acts like the back of your ski boot, right? And those go click, click into your bindings, right? And then, then you put your, you put heel, your heel here the ski boot and then you here. snap this over your ski boot. Now you have a binding where the heel comes yeah. up, right? Mm -hmm. And if you're going up inclines, it's way more comfortable to put this incline step up. On touring skis, they don't have this. Yeah. So, it's pretty good. These were, these were great. They're pretty lightweight. They're very adjustable to different boot sizes and binding sizes. Did you, have you guys liked using those? Yeah. yeah. They're pretty good. It's a little tall. Yeah, they're like... Yeah, they, you, you're, they you're you higher taller. up your skis. You're, it makes you feel like... Different. You have shorter skis. Yeah. yeah. And you're like a beginner. This brand doesn't make a grown-up version, but I found a brand called Daymaker, which is a company in Utah, I think, and uh, they make kind of more of a metal uh, adapter. It's it's basically the exact same theory that cool. this is. So skins, Max, talk about skins. How do skins work? All right, so you there's an adhesive that you stick to the bottom of your ski. So they're they're called skins because in the old days, I guess people used to use actual animal skins with like fur on them and if you pet a dog you could it's like smooth in one direction but then if you go from like the tail to the head it's not smooth so skins work the same way except they have these tiny tiny little hairs on them and uh, they, they it's smooth moving forward but there's a lot of friction trying to move backwards and they have a they're sticky right uh -huh. so there's there's like an adhesive on the back of yeah the skin. there's an adhesive on the back that you stick to your ski so you put those out in the parking lot, and then you head up. We're on the trail, boys. Ooh, almost there. Where are we? Bridge. Yes. This is the second bridge. I feel like there's another one. Going up the Hermit Lake. We're at the second, just past the second bridge. We are super close to the Hermit Lake shelters. We'll probably see you guys at Hermit Lake shelters. <laughs> Who, the guys in here? Yeah. These guys? Yes. We'll see those guys. Yeah. We'll see, see you guys. See we'll see, right we'll see you guys. You guys. Yes. How beautiful is this, guys? Wow, sun coming through. I mean, what else do you want? It's so quiet, no wind. It's nice. All right, here we go. I do. I definitely want to. Oh. 
and Max. What an experience would happen. <laughs> right? You sure? Yeah. You can stick them in with your mittens. I just don't like the bunch of, uh, I guess you can say that. We are reconfigured and ready to go down. What's it like skiing down the Sherby Trail? Well, if there's a light snowfall, it's pretty rocky, so you do got to be aware of rocks, and it's a little narrow. It's not too wide of a trail, so you definitely um, need to look around for other yeah. people and make sure you don't run into other people. There's only like one steep section, and overall, it's like the equivalent of a blue ice ski mountain. And it's pretty easy, pretty just cruising down. It's not that fast of a trail. Some parts are a little like very, like almost flat, but it, it that really was laid like down. Like the top part there. is like almost flat, so. But then once you get down there, it's pretty, Pretty good. Snowmaking on that trail, right? So in no, the early, so we filmed a lot of our footage. Th this video was filmed pretty early season. So and there are plenty of rocks very, poking out. Yeah. So you have to really watch your speed. But in then the early we did season. it later in the season, and it was way better. How long does it last? I'd say if you're fast, it could be like 10 minutes, or if you're a little bit slower, 15 or 20. Yeah. Yeah. For us, it took us about 15 minutes. Yeah. To it's a pretty fun 15 minutes yeah, it is. compared to the two and a half hours it might be high, uh, skinning up, gaining 2,000 feet of elevation. It's, it's also a good, a good feeling when you get down to the visitor center again in the parking lot. I remember that car. Yeah, and, and the cool thing about the trail is it spits you out basically directly into the parking yeah, lot, right? Yeah, like right in the parking lot. Yeah. It's... And sometimes you can ski uh, out too because it's snow. There's it's snow all the way Yeah, too. ski right to your car. Well, would we do it again? Yeah. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely a fun thing to do. Definitely do it again. So this is the first video that the three of us are doing together. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you have any comments or feedback feedback for us, please uh, put them below in the comments. If you have any questions for us, put them in the comments. We'll answer. We would totally appreciate a like or a subscribe. Uh, we're trying to build this channel, and our plan is to. Uh, go on a lot of cool adventures uh, and make videos about them and share them with you. So if you have any ideas of what you'd like to see from us, please let us know. Yep, that's it. Say thank you. Got thank you. Thank you. Thank. Oh, you okay. Yeah, one more time. I'm Max. I'm Sam. And I'm Matt. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Dad. Yeah. Huh. Okay, Dad. Uh, can I, you I, fix this? Dad, I think we recorded. Dad, going out. Dad, I would maybe.